day one of Roaccutane. This is my skin. I've taken one pill, so it's kind of the first day, but ha nothing's really happened yet. This is currently my skin. Okay, I forgot to film my face this morning, but I'm filming it now. I just wanted to show you before I take my makeup off. So my makeup does normally fade throughout the day, but it doesn't normally like cling on to dry skin like this. Skin around here, here. My forehead is looking okay. I did just have my brows waxed because um, I was aware that I'm not allowed to wax them on Roaccutane, so I thought I'd do it as soon as possible, so... Um, it hasn't really reacted, it was very red after, but I guess that's normal for after having your brows done. So yeah, my skin is very, very dry at the moment, and it is only day two. Lips are fine though. Also, this spot is so, so painful. It's massive, like, under skin bump, which I cannot wait to go. And also this. What is this? Day three. I'm breaking out a lot around kind of this area. Um, I have got some new spots which I can feel are coming up under the skin and they do feel very painful but apart from that I've got no side effects my skin is still okay no dry skin but I am slathering the lip balm on day four this is my skin I've woken up it's quite oily I found in the morning it's actually quite oily um, but I do have some white heads coming up now from some new and some old spots so it feels good that they're all coming out still a lot around this area but it's very easy to colour with makeup at the moment. Day five. I had one white head here this morning and then that was it. Um, whereas every other day I've woken up with quite a few new white heads, new spots. I haven't had any side effects yet. I did feel like last night my lips felt a bit numb, like they didn't feel like my lips, if that makes sense. But that was the only kind of side effect I've had so far, apart from headaches. I've been having really bad headaches. I had one on day one and then I had one yesterday and um, which was very bad so bad I had to just have a nap to try and get rid of it but apart from that I haven't had any side effects. Day six not much to report really apart from the fact that I've woken up and my lips feel weird they feel tight they not necessarily dry they just feel a bit tight but I have been keeping a lot of lip balm on and secondly this is the most painful spot ever oh my god it's so painful. <laughs> Today is day seven, um, skin is looking okay, like I don't have any active blemishes apart from a couple of white heads down here which I will zoom in on in a minute, um, but I feel like the rest of it is feeling very smooth and very flat, um, which is a good thing. Sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder by the way, it makes it easier to know what I'm talking about on my face. Um, so yeah, this is day seven. My chin seems to be... Um, decluttering a lot. Day 8, I've just taken my 8th pill and it's officially one week on Roaccutane. Today is the first day that my skin has felt very very soft. Um, no whiteheads this morning which was good but I do still have this annoying thing and this annoying, no wait, this annoying thing. This is kind of all scarring now, it's not really active um, and I do have a spot coming up here which is quite a weird place. But yeah, my skin feels very soft. I haven't really got any side effects yet, like I have, my skin isn't dry. In fact, this morning it was a tiny bit oily, I think. I have still been moisturising my lips like crazy, I just don't want them to dry out. Um, so I've always got lip balm on. But yeah, no side effects really and nothing's really happened. I'm very aware that I'm going to break out a lot soon. Even though I'm on erythromycin to stop that initial breakout happening. I know it's still going to happen. I'm just waiting for the day. So yeah, just got to still keep going. Still feeling positive about it all. Day 9 and there's been no update really apart from the fact that this spot, I just touched it and it burst. It was disgusting. Very TMI, I'm sorry. Just put my makeup on, it's still day 9 and I just wanted to show you my skin. I didn't realise is quite dry, I didn't realise until I put my makeup on because it's really clinging to all the dry patches. Like all around here, you can see it's all flaky. Um, my scalp has got like flakes and my eyebrows are um got like dandruff in them too and then all around here like I've just put my makeup on and it's all flaky
skin today overall looks clear but this is just getting too much now it's such a big lump under my skin and in a really awkward place as well so i cannot wait for that to go um and then this is very very red as well it feels like something is underneath but it's not ready at all to come out yet this is just like a scab now i guess all i have to say in terms of side effects is that yesterday my skin was so so flaky after a day of wearing makeup i had to go home and i had to use like um, a little exfoliator cleansing thing to like to scrub all the dead skin cells off basically and it felt fine like I moisturised really well afterwards in fact I think I moisturised so much that my forehead started feeling feeling a little bit oily this morning day 11 of Roaccutane um, my skin's starting to break out more I think you can't really see but there's a massive lump under the skin here this is finally like starting to go down a bit hopefully and this has gone down which is great. I had a white head here this morning which I popped, don't judge. Lips feel very dry but they're not cracking or anything because I've been loading the moisturiser on. Day 12, nothing much to report um, other than the fact that yesterday I started getting some really big kind of cystic spots. They haven't come to a head yet so you probably won't be able to see them but I've got one lump here, one lump here here one here which is really painful like right under my eyebrow um and then a big one under here as well which you can kind of see um apart from that i guess everything else is clearing up but i'm very worried about these big ones all coming at the same time because that would be very painful and very unattractive day 14 of raccutane today i woke up and my chin is very very painful with spots especially around here and I've got some white heads here um so yeah my chin's quite painful apart from that everything's looking good apart from this although it has gone down a lot overnight um I picked a layer of the dry skin off last night gross sorry but it does seem to have done something because it's a lot more flat it just hasn't come to a head it's just like a lump under the skin but it feels better today which is good um forehead is looking good apart from again these two lumps under the skin this one seems to have gone down a lot too um, yeah, it's just my chin really that's really breaking out now with whiteheads, but apart from that everything's looking good. Side effects haven't had many at all, still keeping my skin very, very moisturised on my lips of course. I've been actually putting the Aquaphor on my skin as well before bed, which has really helped um, dry skin and my makeup um, stays on pretty much all day the next day without being overly oily or dry so yeah it's all good day 17 i missed yesterday because i had a really busy day but um i developed some um spots on my eyelid which is really weird i've never had spots on my eyelid before and spots in my eyebrows and um, today i've woken up with some white heads here which are really itchy they just really itchy and i can feel them coming out also yesterday it was really weird around here it it literally felt like there was a little bug walking around my face but I think it's just like a twitch I've had like a really small twitch just under this eye not under the eye though like on the cheek and it's such a weird sensation it does feel like there's a bug walking around this area but I've gotten used to it now I don't know what that is I don't know whether it's a pore drying out or whether it is just twitch I have no idea but um, that's been very very weird. I am getting a lot more white heads and they are very painful around the chin in this area. Day 18. I wasn't going to film today because um, I didn't feel like it but I thought I would be completely honest and show you guys. Um, today's really hard. My skin hasn't been this bad in a really long time. <laughs> I knew it was going to break out but I didn't think it could get any worse than it had been getting um, but today's hit me like my skin hasn't been this bad probably in about five years it was quite similar to this when I was at uni but it hasn't been this bad since and I just can't I can't believe it like I'm finding it quite difficult because um, I've applied foundation twice today. I applied it once. I didn't like it. I took it off. I applied another foundation and I've just taken that off because I don't like that either. Like, um, my skin's very dry so um, makeup is clinging to all the dry patches. So it's just very obvious. And I just can't, like I don't, I can't wait for this to finish. 
I don't feel beautiful at all. It feels, and my confidence is really low today. And I'm supposed to be going out tonight. I'm supposed to be going out tonight. Um, and no, I just don't, I really don't want to because I don't, I just feel really shit. Hopefully tomorrow will be better. I literally don't think, I don't know how it could get any worse than this. Not only is it breaking out, it's also so itchy. Um, and it hurts, it's painful as well. <laughs> Day 20. Sorry I skipped a couple of days I was away, but um, I guess my skin has started clearing up a little bit now. I Yesterday I woke up with two white heads and today I've woken up with just this one, which isn't really white head, it's just a really big um, spot. But I haven't had any more spots since. I think this is all mainly scarring now. So I'm going to look into some products that I can use to start helping fade the redness and the scars away a little bit. Skin is very dry and flaky though, especially on my chin and on my nose. Day 24. I've woken up and I'm really surprised. My skin looks great. Um, this is all just scars now. I mean, there are a couple of bumps, but it looks smooth. And so does this. All, it's all smooth. Only thing that's standing out is this thing here. See, my lips are feeling dry today. I haven't put any lip balm on yet. Day 25, I've woken up and my lips feel so, so dry today. My skin feels so smooth though, like it's the softest it's felt in a really long time. So I'm quite happy. Really happy with my skin today. It feels so, so soft and I don't have any like active whiteheads or anything just super soft and just a lot of scarring but I'm really really happy skin is mostly the same as yesterday and I'm happy about that Today is day 29, tomorrow marks a month of being on Rakutane. This is how my skin's looking at the moment, quite a lot of scarring. I've kind of got a bump above my eyebrow here which feels like an under the skin spot. I guess it looks okay.